what's up guys so <clears throat> just online doing some research um kind of was on youtube earlier posting a video and i saw this video that popped up that said something about a dji phantom 4 and what i noticed was it said it was only posted like five hours ago so i was like what are they talking about phantom 4 has been out for like more than a year now why is it saying that this thing popped up for, for uh, five hours ago so what I forgot was a couple days ago I was actually on the DJI website and I saw a release date or just said like DJI 11 14 something like that and I never follow back to see what this new release was all about so it turns out if you haven't heard DJI has just released a Phantom 4 Pro so many of you like me have a Mavic on pre-order I ordered mine on release of the Maverick. The vendor that I ordered it from, I didn't order directly from DJI. I ordered it from Amazon because I had some some gift cards uh, that I could use on Amazon. And that vendor canceled my pre-order, talking about it's oversold pre-orders. So I reordered again directly through Amazon, um, and it had a release date of December first. And then uh, I looked again, and it had a release date of sometime in, in January. So hopefully, the the new release date is for later pre-orders but um looking at this phantom 4 pro i guess dji heard our request and it has a lot more features um in particular one thing that this thing's got is a much better camera with a one inch sensor which makes this almost like a high-end dslr or not a dslr maybe like a point and shoot like a like a sony uh rx 100 mark 3 um and it also has four-way obstacle avoidance so one of the things about filming with a um, quadcopter is while you're trying to film for the camera, even though you had front obstacle avoidance, you could have a potential of running into something on either your sides or your or behind you. Um, I've seen videos, or I've seen a video of a guy flying his um, his Inspire, and he was backing away from something and ended up backing it into a tree. Now. That could also happen to you if you're using your drone for follow. So if you're using follow, the thing can see what's in front of it, but it can't see what's to the left, to the right, or in behind. So I was using follow mode on one of my standard versions, or actually one of my um, my Phantom 3 versions. And what I noticed was, as it was following my son when I was testing it, when he turned around and he came back toward it, it just simply backed away from him. Or if you had it in like orbit or some type of mode where it was following on different orientations it could potentially rotate into something on the left or right so four-way obstacle avoidance obstacle avoidance is going to be a great feature for this making it very difficult for you to crash into something while you're trying to concentrate on getting the perfect shot um, I don't know about you guys but <clears throat> I was totally hooked on the Mavic for the, its portability I hated having to or wanting or needing to pack up the Phantom 3 version. I never had a 4, but I hated to have to pack up the Phantom 3 into this large backpack. So if I wanted to go somewhere, take it on a trip, the backpack would be my carry-on. With the Mavic, I could throw the Mavic in my carry-on and not have to carry a second piece of luggage or get charged for a second piece of luggage. But again, <clears throat> um, this new Phantom 4 makes the investment i think a little bit more secure for me knowing that i have less chance of crashing this thing so i have to decide on whether i want portability or a better camera um, i think the battery life is still the same so there's no real gain or compromise there but for me i think i'm leaning more toward portability i love the fact that i can fold this thing up but then again you crash it and i'm pretty sure replacing or repairing a, a, the mavic with those folding arms it's not going to be cheap. It's going to be something that's probably really expensive and maybe not easy to do on your own. So <clears throat> I would like to know what you guys are thinking. Any of you guys that have the Mavic on pre-order right now, are you thinking that you're going to cancel it and go with the Phantom 4? I mean, it's about $400 more, depending on what version you got of the Mavic. And then when you add in batteries, you're looking at maybe another 200 per battery. So you need maybe two more extra batteries. So that's $1,400 plus about $400 more. It's $1,800 versus a Mavic that you can get the Mavic with two extra batteries for about 1200 I believe um, and I'm really not sure on the cameras yet because from videos that I've seen where guys have compared the Mavic to the original Phantom 4 they're saying that the camera features that are the camera uh, quality that you've seen is probably because of the person using the camera on the Mavic wasn't experienced with the uh, touch to focus features and stuff like that it wasn't an autofocus feature so 
I, I don't know guys I, I, I'm, I'm a little uh, confused right now which one I want to go with I think I, I have uh, a few days to, to make a decision on whether or not I want to cancel the Mavic and throw the money into a Phantom 4 Pro but I, I right now I think for travel because I actually wanted to take this thing when I go traveling I want to do some great aerial photography I think I want to go with the Mavic I mean the Mavic over the Phantom 4 so I'll be interested in knowing what you guys are thinking um, I'm definitely going to probably get one or the other. I wish I had the cash right now to buy them both. But I mean, to be honest with you, to support the channel, I'm going to need something to compare um, the Mavic 2, and it might just be the Phantom 4. So um, stay tuned, uh, at least for the Mavic video or the Phantom 4 video, if I make a decision on it. And leave some comments behind, below telling me which one you think is a better drone, which one you think that um, <clears throat> you should go with now that they have you have another option. I was just I, I couldn't I couldn't believe when the Mavic was released that DJI didn't I mean they 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 released a drone that appeared to be better than the the Phantom Four that they were already selling and that was like kind of kind of sus like it was like suspicious to me that you would release a drone for less than what your your top of line drone is selling for right now with extra batteries. So I should have seen something coming. I should have seen this new Mavic Pro coming because. <clears throat> it would have totally, being that, the, I mean, not the Maverick, the Phantom 4 Pro, because the release of the Maverick would probably, would, in my opinion, would have killed the sale of the Phantom 4. So I, I, I'm, I'm not surprised, actually, that they released the Phantom 4. But let me know what you guys think. Give me some tips on what you think would be a better drone uh, or better quadcopter to get. Right now, like I said, I think I'm going to go with the Maverick, but um, the Phantom 4 is very, very tempting. So, hey, guys, stay tuned. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm trying to build a nice tech review channel. I mean, right now it's all about quads because this is what I'm into. I want to get a racing quad. I want to try to build a racing quad and get out there and see how you actually fly one of these things with FPV. Um, I'm going to need your support and your, your feedback on which ones are the best ones to go out and get. I'm going to keep doing giveaways. I'm going to keep buying um, different types of tech and reviewing them. And hopefully I'll be able to pass on some deals or some information to you that will help you make a better decision. I appreciate you watching. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.